Okay, again, good morning. Let's okay, let's have system check first. Can you see the screen I'm sharing? Can you see the boy like praying? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. How about my audio? Is my audio clear? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma yes, ma'am. Great. So rainy morning, right, teachers? How are you doing? Did you give me any reaction there? <laughs> like, are you affected by the typhoon? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're safe. So let's have our quick prayer. To be led by Ma'am Thea. Just a quick short prayer. Thank you. Iningatan niyo po kami lahat sa bagyo. And nawa nga po na lahat po ay maging ligtas. And natuto po ngayong araw sa mga lessons na aming aaralin. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo pong pinakamataas na papuri at salamat. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Ma'am Thea, for that. Thank you so much. Okay, let's have our... Picture first. Please turn on your video so I can take a screenshot of our before class. Screenshot. Okay. Ready? Smile. One, two, three, smile. Okay. Yeah, I got that, Mam Jai. Thank you. Okay. I like your virtual background. Okay. Now let's proceed to echoing of your output. If you can recall, I've added a PS, right? Or note in the invitation link for the Zoom conference that you will prepare to echo your output but don't worry i also have the copies okay but i would also like you to share so it's not simply about jumping into another pool right without you know experiencing the other pool okay so let's have first the reaction paper right you're asked to write a reaction paper these are actually two articles but okay we'll have the first one titled fake the feature educators need to maximize technology in teaching and learning it was published june 23 2018 so i ask you to use the four parts right synthesis analysis learning insights and policy recommendations who would like to read their output anyone or i will just choose from <laughs> the submissions and again is mom jn here I have the output here for articles 1 and 2. Okay, maybe we can hear from the present people. Okay, again, if you're part of the correspondence team, you are not required to turn in your okay, your answers in the Google Classroom. Uh, let me address first the concern of Sir Yanni. Sir Yanni, would you like to say something? You, you sent me a personal message about not being clear with this, but... Mom... For the our new task, class. That's a different task. Okay, let's have this first. Okay, thank you, Sir Yanni. So allow me to read. Maybe you don't have copies of these, or maybe you have. But allow me to read Sir Yan's, okay, uh, reaction paper for this. So yeah, as uh, he said, we can see the uses of our learning school. Uh, educational materials but one of the most common uses is no other than the technology in teaching correct it is the most and useful one it is the most useful one rather technology is very good for communication with others due to apps that can be installed and can be accessed right uh, also it includes the pieces of information that can suggest or use a keyboard on phone but just type your what you'd like to know about technology and it will give you technology also is has the most uh, what impact in our society we can also use digital resources some universities and private schools use technology for having class like their learning management system that's right having class giving grades and giving instructions for something related to the subject schools can use digital resources in a variety of ways to support teaching and learning so the pros that he enumerated here technology can innovate learners using other traditional approaches and also technology can increase the efficiency of any task or activity making it faster correct they can also help learners to grow in all aspects of learners let me read from other submissions from um, micah if you notice i made a copy for each of the students that you can simply edit and that's one thing that you may usually i receive like two submissions here maybe to be sure okay that i receive your response okay let us hear from mamaika uh, mamaika i think you did it mom yes uh did you 
specify oh wait i think it's the first one you attach to two files here right okay now you have your pros create new profession yeah correct right uh, new academic field new measures of workplace competency technology as a means of promoting whole person education technology used for education augmented reality for learning right especially we are in the virtual world this is really prevalent we have developing school small private online courses and blended learning i think you mean blended learning by blending okay and learning through gamification yeah that's also one right that really what triggers the interest of the learners cons according to mamaika how best to adjust to changes in technology while maintaining a key institutional identity that focuses on learners holistic development yeah that is so true right because as technology keeps on changing not only the you know the, the world in general but most specifically the education system right but how about monitoring right all aspects right of a student's holistic development correct another con gap there's gap between the jobs available and the courses our graduates finish yeah maybe you're referring to looking for uh, what do you call this vertically articulated job for you right that's important why because there are so many mismatch that's what we call mismatch of jobs right in relation to what they finished and that that is why we are you know promoting well the join what do you call this the 4.0 web 4.0 actually discuss about integrating like science and art for instance in the field so another yeah learning insights from mamaika technology is not about being on trend yeah correct education is one of the best uses of technology there are still uses regarding technology that need to address okay opportunities are everywhere correct uh, there's a chat mom you can hear me mom she who can hear mom, mom, po yung Pero okay, na po, mom. okay maybe it's your connection am i clear to to others Micah, am i clear yes po mom okay thank you okay because it's maybe it's raining in your place it's the connection it's fine Okay, let me try to speak somehow slowly, right? For, so you can follow. Okay, policy recommendations for teachers to know the different factors that can affect the teaching and learning of a student. Yeah. Okay, for students to know that even if the techno even the technology is very important for learning, it also needs to maximize and be used correctly for better learning experience. Yeah. Uh, I realize it's it's really a big adjustment, especially in terms of turning in your your what assessment outputs, right? Your activities online, and yeah, many even all my other students send me PM about mom. Uh, I I don't understand. I mean, wh where is the attached file? They didn't realize I provided a copy for them to edit, but it's it's fine. We're still adjusting. That's understandable. For administration to provide seminars or conference regarding the use of technology, okay, that we already had before, and I hope you, you're able to attend the webinars there, but it's more than that. I think it, it should be more than the webinars, but it's more of in-depth training, right? We can suggest like trainings, workshops that it's hands-on and it's in-depth, right? Because it's so easy to discuss all things, but when it comes to application, right? To, when it comes to utilization, it's a different story. For parents to guide their children the correct use of, <clears throat> in terms of the correct use of technology for learning and the challenges in the use of technology, which we sympathize and empathize a lot, right? Parents are having a hard time to adapt to the changes. Like, usually in the public school, they combine both, right? To some, well, for for basic education like for young learners it's really just the you know the parents and i mean in public school parent and the student and it's really hard 
especially what if the parent doesn't understand right the, the subject or the topic herself so how, how will she be able to teach the kids so that's a mere struggle so you you would like guide your children okay well we can simply impose it to parents because they need still a more knowledgeable other right but in terms of teaching their kids so let me uh, for mom jasmine mom alias response here so for ma'am oh yeah okay i think she, she just divided the paragraphs Okay, the, the article explains why teachers and students must have enough knowledge and skills in technology, correct? It also says that the world is changing, so the education is, we agree. Admit it or not, our generation now is really technologically inclined because it makes our work easier. But the disadvantage of this is that we, ha we really have learned or developed ourselves or the question is how we really learned or developed ourselves using technology does really what help us to be more creative explorative and to enhance our skills attitude and etc okay uh, she also thought that this article shows us that educators must have enough knowledge and skills in technology because sooner or later our education will become more technological technologically advanced like what is happening right now it can it can help us to be more flexible or resourceful creative and innovative technology is not part of our daily life so why don't we use it to improve our education yeah and yeah we have all these softwares available uh, but when it comes to accessibility they are available to all of you but when it comes to accessibility that's where we are still struggling right as a nation not just as a university but as a nation and yeah until now we are coping now right, with the situation just like earlier i was discussing in the class and then some at least i know right i need your response i need your immediate response or reaction so at least i know i'm still you're still there and you're still with me right uh a student of mine just unmute himself and then ma'am i'm sorry can you give can you give me a minute to to take in everything and then he said ma'am sabog po kasi ako and then he, he told the class that he just woke up so well those are right i mean natural occurrences okay another learning through technology is common nowadays right to have yeah, to gain more knowledge and skills in technology seminars about how technology really helps us in education. We should maximize the usage of technology. I like that you emphasize that. That's what I kept on telling you before, right? Maximize the utilization of instructional materials or all these softwares. It's not simply about utilization, but maximizing the use of it. And yeah, in terms of that, you need to explore more of the features that a software offers, not only the one that is commonly used or only the you know the obvious features of it but also hidden features of a software and again technology is not limited to modern one but also traditional so even when you're when it comes to your traditional instructional materials right there there's really a need to to maximize the use of of those things so so for example uh if, if you can recall if i'm sure that i conducted like i know we experienced this in the class right when you you created the the bird paper so even from a paper you can create like origami and other craft so in that case since you are you will be exposed to young learners they are more into hands-on experience if you can recall from your ttl1 edgar dale's cone of experience so you'll notice that from the very concrete from the most concrete experience that's the bottom of the cone and then the highest the top corner of the cone is the most abstract so in terms of your young learners they're into touching things they're into holding things right they're into flipping pages of the books they would like to read right but of course nowadays you can also tell me that ma'am they're more exposed to gadgets now but in terms of, you know, hands-on experience, right, they still need those. They still need those, especially in terms of intervention, right? When, when you need to give intervention to different learning disabilities or disorders, let's just say learning disorders, right, there is a need 
or suggested strategies that they need to be exposed physically right with the they need to be exposed with the material itself so for example i've been reading about uh you know this dyslex dyslexia right uh reading disorder and it's we can't really say right that the, the student can do anything else the student can really do drawing he can he's like he likes to watch as well but in terms of reading the subtitle for example when it comes to watching anime it's hard right and i i i've been studying and i read that they need to be exposed if you can recall the the movie every child is special right you need to one strategy there is you can trace the letters on the sand so they need tactile experience with the with the words with the letters so for them to be comfortable looking at these letters in right form and not reverse order so yeah okay uh, let's go to article number two okay how is technology changing education in the philippines so by eva or iva kubikova okay content executive so let me read from another or you please you may also read yours anyone mom she are you part of the online team yes mom yes would you like to echo your output on the second article uh okay ma'am uh in synthesis ma'am or just only synthesis yeah please uh, article one is to teacher educators need to maximize technology in teaching and learning. As the world changes, many of our industries have difficulties on how to adjust in this modern technology. Mm -hmm. The field of education is one of those fields that suffer from techno from technological disruption. Many institutions have a hard time merging technology in education while maintaining the ideas of the institution's identity. Mm -hmm. To solve this problem, together with the United World Coalition for Education in Asia and Hong Kong Baptist University, they created an event entitled Technology Assist Teaching and Learning for Whole Person, for whole person Education, Opportunities and Challenges in Asia. This event helps the universities and other educational institutions to accomplish their three main goals that improve our innovation towards technology in teaching across Asia. Okay. That's all now. Yeah, so that's your synthesis, right? So that's what this article is all about. And you also mentioned, allow me to read your analysis entry. There are pros and cons stated in the article. The main bad point of this article was the struggle of the educational institutions in integrating technology and education in Asia. It has a technological disruption since we are used to the traditional mode of learning. Yeah, I agree. Aside from that, there are gaps between the available job and the courses of graduates finished. As you can see nowadays, since the world is changing, there are some habits and aspects that we used to do, but technology changes us all, as well as our education. Yeah, you're referring to the pandemic. The good points in this article are that we are able to solve the problem I mentioned above. Because of this problem, we are able to learn how to collaborate with other institutions who are in the field of education as well as the field of technology. Yeah, even we can, you know, instead of simply institutionalized uh, webinars, right, it can be available to all parts of the world, not only in our nation. Since an event was being held, we became open and aware of other ideas, innovation, and new practices from other countries. Yeah, I hope you are maximizing those opportunities that you can enroll in an online course, free online course, and learn a lot from their setting that you can contextualize in our setting. Okay, another in this event, we are starting okay, uh, to practice new skills that can be used in the future both by teachers and students especially in your case it's a big challenge because i mean yeah regardless of age but it's a more challenging task to, for you to teach online right 
for you to teach young learners in the online mode. And your learning insights, uh, let me read. As I read the article, I realized many things about how technology helps in our learning. As a future educator, I found out that we need to be technologically skilled in order to help our students in the future. Yeah, again, we can't give what we don't have. And right we, you can't maximize all the features the annotation the whiteboard all these best features of a video conference tool right if you're not equipped with all the skills as much as possible we need to be more curious about new things because it might help us in our work to be our work to be easy rather we should not be afraid to try these especially we are in a pandemic so again i'll be right uh, you know be like dora learn to explore things and sometimes it's anxious to try new things but in this situation i should take it as a challenge i like that that you take it as a challenge at the same time you in terms of your major or your field you have a vast i can say that you have a vast opportunities of the softwares available because every time i'll attend a webinar of teaching strategies methods and you know online teaching techniques their examples are always for young learners right so yeah it's an, an advantage for you i think for your policy recommendation in this article you think that these kinds of events should be more prob public these kind of information and scenarios are exclusively only for are exclusive only for private schools it would be better if the public school might have the chance to enter in this kind of event mostly a public teacher or public school teacher has little amount of knowledge and how to utilize new technology we can say that many right or you know adapting to, to the needs of this but yeah we can also say because we have more you know uh, experienced teachers in the field especially in the public school who need to yeah, who need to adjust using online tools they, they should be the ones to be focused on since they have numerous amount of students and technologies which are what the keys to making their work easier but since we're in a pandemic i recommend doing some webinars where teachers can easily can access easily like the webinars as we attended last month the teacher must be the one to understand technology first so that they can share it with the parents and also their students yeah thank you for you know contextualizing the scenario of the public school and the private school and it's really not easy right so i hope right if we're still in this situation we can still you know cover that part okay so thank you for sharing thank you for your output Okay, let's talk about the context of learning. How about your entries here? May I ask someone to echo your output about the context of learning? It's just a you know expository paragraph to explain what's happening. What do you think this picture shows in terms of the context or situations of learning? Ma'am Claire, are you there? Ma'am Anne Claire? Mambea, how about you? Hi, ma'am. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Wait, ma'am. I'll just look. I'll just go to my um, okay. answers. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, I'm not really sure about it eh, because I'm confused about the photos. That's okay. Okay, I'll start now. <laughs> okay, it can be seen in the photos, the difference of learning on a different setting. Mm -hmm. um, for me, the photos on the top are representing learning about medicine and the science of human body. And while applying it... Uh, the distance learning mm -hmm. during this pandemic. Well, the photos on the bottom part are showing discussions or classroom or the traditional education. Mm -hmm. uh, we can see that each learning 
really needs guidance from a teacher or an educator. May it be distance learning or in a classroom setting, the role of the teacher is very important. The teacher molds and motivates every student in their learning. Nowadays, technology really helps a lot of teachers and students. It provides platforms where teachers and students can communicate, provide students, students easy access to learning materials and resources. Mm -hmm. Everything a student needs to know can be found in just one click. And com comparing to traditional education, information is very limited to books since it's the only resources we have be before. Mm -hmm. Teachers would need to provide copies of these, or students need to buy books to be able to access their lessons. Unlike now, with the help of digital education, distance learning is made possible, especially this time of pandemic. Okay, yeah, correct, right? Uh, thank you. you. You realize this refers to science, right? And yes, then to the technology. So this you you can also see that there certainly need a guidance right from from the teacher in terms of being physically available right in terms of hands-on experiences in the classroom but even virtually. thank you ma'am bea okay another the different views of learning anyone would like to echo their output here we have four different images here how, how can you relate our views of learning in terms of the picture? Can you, how about Mam Micah? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, narinig mo po ako. Yeah, but there's a noise. You can also hear. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, but there's a noise. Phone. Yeah, but here. Thank you, Ma'am Micah. I, I don't know what are we hearing. We're hearing a different noise. Yeah, it's the feedback, correct? Okay. Maybe it's the reception. Thank you. How about Sir Ed? Are you there? Mom, I'm module. I'm corresponding. Corresponding. Yeah. Uh, you haven't started answering at least? Not yet. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Anyone? Ma'am Jai? Hi, ma'am. Hi. <laughs> Mom, hindi ko po sigurado yung answer ko. It, but again, there are no wrong answers. <laughs> Tapos, mom, hindi po siya, parang hindi siya masyada related dun sa picture. Pero ito po yung sagot ko. Okay. We see every child differently. So, oh, wait lang, mom. Mm -hmm. Ay, ano po? Ito. We see every child, oh my God, bakit nagaan si Siri? Ito po, ulit we see every child differently, so we teach them differently. Like in teaching out an alphabet letters on a kid, others would teach the letter while I prefer teaching the sound first. Mm -hmm. Others would teach how to write it on the paper while I would teach them how to write it in the wind first. Every teacher or parent would depend on how a child will respond to their activity and will decide if they will retain or change it. Some children want to learn alone while others need a helping hand and guidance. This is why future educators need to be flexible and creative in teaching little learners. Okay, yeah, that's correct, right? That's correct. That, And then your answer, I, I can totally say your answer was relevant to the picture, like solitary learner here, right? They, they view learning uh, as, some, as a process that they can do alone or by themselves, but at least all of these are hands-on experiences. Right. So in terms of your teaching strategies, you mentioned about teaching them differently and like how other teachers teach them. And yeah, that's good. That's being creative in the teaching. Thank process. you, ma'am. Thank you, Jai. Jai, okay, next. So discuss whether or not you belong to digital technologies generation. Prove your answer by providing five evidences. Who among you answer this? Mm, Sir Yan, do you have answer for this? Like, can you say that you belong to the digital technology generation? 
based on the discussion there in the IM. Almost teenagers that belong in generation generation. Generation Z are belong into digital technology, which can maximize them as an individual. Technology becomes part of people's everyday life and guaranteed that it makes things easily. Life becomes much easier for this generation as it seems that digital technology becomes our friend. Mm -hmm. I do know that I belong in this kind of digital technology generation because I have more access in information than generations before us. Technically speaking, we innovate that this generation moves so fast to prove that there is change. Also, we have a lot of learning resources that are that accessible and has minimal access barrier. It's really easier to come up for ideas because digital technology provides it as it is. Another one is that we have using different technology. Mom, wait lang po. It's okay. Another one is that we have using different kinds of multimedia platforms that apparently helping each of us in connecting in different parts of the world. Also, in today's big issues, which is the new normal setting in education, many of this generation can access an online setting because of the privilege to assure that they can use digital platforms that can help them to cope up in this new normal setting. Lastly, this generation are provided intentions such as modern learning methods, instructional techniques, and information to definitely access what we needed. All of these providing reasons prove that there are lots of ideas that innovate and prosper, not just this, gen not just this generation, but the next generations. What more what more we are willing to give to make life easier? People have a big advancement because we are highly had thinking skills that can provide information that can assure to help the generation itself. Okay, wow. Really, we can say that you belong to the digital technology generation from your experiences of being exposed, from not just being exposed, but also by using it, right? By using the different technology of uh, resources that are available to you we can say that you are part and the challenge is right how are you going to maximize it in terms of your chosen field thank you i'm jasmine okay next yeah i asked you to create or design a butterfly like multitasking skills with single task skills in accomplishing tasks who can share uh, i mean who's able to share screen in relevance it's were you able to use the bubble that us um no ma'am no it's um, a okay. it's, again you use it yes ma'am yes ma'am would you like yes ma'am oh okay yes, ma that is one effective way right or one at least virtual way of using your mind map instead of simply drawing or cutting out shapes you may you may use that well in the virtual world but i suggest if you are of course teaching the young learners it's better if they still draw right but for now so at least you're exploring may i ask for someone to share anyone so, Mom, Micah share that, right? Um, honestly, Mom, I can't understand, Mom, kung ano po talaga yung gagawin dito. Okay, but what's your output? May, 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 your output? Si Mom, pakitingin po, Mom. Okay. Thank you, Mom. Mm -hmm. How about the others? Who, who other, uh, others said yes, right, to this? This is assessment two. Wait, let me check. Okay, so we have here, ma'am. Is it okay if I will share this on screen? Okay, can you see this now? Okay, so the task is again you have to design a butterfly like so it's the it's the concept if it's, it's the mind map multitasking skills with single task skills. Okay, let us see in accomplishing.
test. So for your multitasking skills, you have there. Yes, yeah, start early. Set up deadlines. Can you see the screen? Can you see the mind map? Can you give me like react? If yes, you... ma'am. Okay. can see it. Not clear, ma'am. I'm blurred. I'm blurred. Okay, sorry. Let me zoom it in more. Okay, don't worry. I will... Okay, I will read the input. Okay. So we have here... Start early. That's so important. Because, right, if you will do multitask, right, if you multitask, there's really a need for you to, to start early because you, you need to accomplish other tasks. Set up deadlines, right? So you're also referring to priorities like to-do list and not to-do list. I hope you also practice, you know, setting up your not to-do list. So from time to time that you will, you know, your attention will be snatched by other, you know, low priorities low priority tasks it's important that you know okay you have to focus or you have to go back to the top priority and have a time limit yeah that's great and plan ahead okay next we have for the single task skills yeah overcome procrastination allow yourself to take breaks mm -hmm. turn off all disruptions commit your attention to your work that is important yeah turn off all disruptions so if we can see yeah as we can see we can combine right just like with you said multitasking skills with single task skills in accomplishing tasks you can apply right this overcoming procrastination attitude into multitasking skills because again you have other tasks to do right so there's no room for procrastination allow yourself to take yeah, there, there is a need to take breaks, turn off all distractions, definitely, right? And commit your attention to your work. Yeah, this is a great mind map. I like it, okay? It, it's so clear. It is so practical. Okay, let me look for... Okay, how about the others? Do you have a different one? Let me... From uh, Mom Jai. Mom, no. <laughs> okay, okay, I respect that. Let me look for other. Mom, it's okay, but I'm not sure on my answer. Okay, it's okay. Let's just try. Again, there are no wrong answers. So it's how you understand it, how you interpret. Okay, yeah, this is cute. Okay. Wow, cute, cute. Okay. Wow, okay. Let me share this one. I will just try to read because the, the text, the text are somehow small. Can you, can you say this now? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. So, she started with the top part. The major heading is how to balance butterfly-like multitasking skills with single task skills in accomplishing tasks. So, you're combining all of your skills, right, for two tasks, the multitask and single task. So, first, identify the task that needs to be accomplished. Wow, great, great. Yeah, that's correct. You have to identify first the task that needs to be accomplished. Set a plan by picking a date and time on how you start the giving task. Right. Eat and rest before doing a task. Wow, I think you, you're also a gustatory learner like me. <laughs> Separate the skills that don't relate to the skills you're working on. Correct. Just like what I said, the uh, not to do least. Right. So concentrate and avoid distractions while you are working. So in that case, it's better that you were really. And, you know remove it from your side remove the distractions from your side because from time to time for example you have your phone beside you and you're working at your working laptop right it's so easy to get distracted and then start scrolling on facebook and i like this last part treat yourself once you accomplish the task wow that is cool right that is right so you have to treat yourself or a reward for yourself if you accomplish a task so maybe right so you're you have accomplished a task and then right your you know your leisure or pleasure reward is to watch netflix instead of really going out or who among you who among you does that just simply by viewing or watching okay after this task okay ma'am she does that okay right and ma'am Thea. Right, so after this, I'm gonna watch that series, or after this, I'm gonna, right, I'm gonna eat chocolates because I haven't eaten chocolates for a while. So, wow, th these are great, 
Okay, butterfly like multitask skill. So you may use right those as well if you like. Uh, I also suggest if you are into young learners and in virtual learning, you may use the jam board. Okay, you may use the jam board. I, I hope you explore other assessment strategies that were discussed in the previous lesson. So next, okay. So we'll have law of learning, grade the lesson plan. Let me check also from mom check. Okay, so you chose law of exercise and grade level is grade one. Okay, mathematics. Wow, okay. I hope you check your... May I ask mom check, mom check? What's your source for this one? Is it the one used by DepEd? Yes, ma'am. The curriculum guide of DepEd. Oh, great, great. Very good. Okay. Take it by heart, huh? your curriculum guide. So, we have mathematics. Addition. Adding with pictures. Sums to 10. Okay. Adding with pictures. Instructions. Bring your pencil and eraser. The teacher will give activity sheets to each student. After receiving the activity sheets, Write your name on top. The students will count the circles. Okay, write the numbers below in the circles and find the sum on each item. Okay, once they are done, all papers must give, must be given to the teacher. Okay, concrete instructions. All right, there are materials there. Okay, there is, yeah, it's exercise because there are activity sheets. At the same time, they are exposed to you know, counting and writing the numbers below the circle. Mm -hmm. Next law that you chose is law of intensity. Right? Uh, grade level, kinder, science subject, different body parts. Okay. Head, shoulder, knees, and toes. All the students must stand up. The teacher will get her materials, laptop, and speaker, and introduce the song to the students. Uh, the teacher will give first the steps and lyrics of the song. The student must watch their teacher first on second play of the song. The students will also dance with their teacher. Okay, yeah, demons. that's also demonstration. First, right, before asking your students to do it. May I know what's the song? Is it Paatuhod, Balikat Ulo? Yes, Okay, great. So, it's important also that you use the mother tongue of the child for that specific level. Okay, well, when you go to another, to higher level, when, when you go to higher level, okay, you may use now the, you put your right hand in, you put your right hand out. Well, it depends on their capacity. Another law that you chose is law of challenge. So for grade one, science about weather. Okay, what's the weather today? Instructions, the students must bring their notebook and pencil. The teacher will let her class go outside. Okay, of the classroom. Oh, I like this. You are also exposing them to what the world had. And that is great. That is a great practice. Okay, and then we have the activity will last until Friday. Okay, the students will present their work by pairs and tell what the weather looks like in the past. Days. Yeah, this has been our practice before, right? The, there would be a representative in the class to report, okay, today is Monday, and it is what? Sunny day or rainy day. Okay, yeah, this is cool. So how, let's see, how this becomes challenge, Mom she? Uh, what, what, how are you going to apply love challenge here? to look the weather in every in every 
uh, in every uh, they look they need to look the weather every day so it became a challenge since they are only grade one students mm, yeah yeah and yeah as we know especially now right during the pandemic you, you realize that there's not so much of a challenge or physical challenge that you gave to the learners because they just lie down they just right yeah use their gadget so i like this i like this that you are exposing them to the outside literally the outside world okay that's great man thank you for your output as well so okay now we'll have the roles of a teacher in the 21st century okay so among the 11 we have right among the 11 roles of a teacher in the 21st century presented reflect you have to reflect and choose at least three roles that you aim to possess and practice in the future so we have the controller prompter resource provider assessor organizer participant tutor right planner facilitator you know uh digital learner for a lifetime and technology lover for learning can, can you echo at least one one role of a teacher in the 21st century that you aim to possess and practice in the future ma'am jn ma'am yes ma'am okay. ma'am jn yes can you give us a one role from your answers that you aim to possess in the future hello ma'am hello ma'am jn okay so can you give us one because you are asked to choose three right three roles can you give us at least one role of a teacher in the 21st century that you aim to possess and practice in the future as an as educator yung sa akin po yung napili ko na nilagay ko po dun yung the, the ano po the resource the resource provider um kasi po uh um, para po kayo yung magiging walking, um, walking, uh, walking, may tawag din na kalimutan. Walking dictionary, walking in Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Nang, ano, estudyante po. Mm -hmm. Parang, sila yung, parang kung may kailangan sila, ikaw yung tatakbuhan nila na, mm -hmm. kung may mali sila, ikaw yung magtatama sa kanila, sa mga lessons or activity nila. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's great, right? So, especially. Nakamute ka po. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Yeah, thank you for that. So again, you, you really need to be the the provider of these tangible resources, especially for for young learners, right? For for example, maybe you've uh what do you call this? The the Toy Story Four, who among you have watched it? I think we also talked about that before, right? But yeah. We, we talked about it also in the class and you shared it i think also ma'am jasmine you you remember right when when the kid doesn't have enough right enough materials in that case it's not really the teacher who provided all the trash but it's woody but we can say right we can look at woody there as a teacher right who provided the you know the resources for the kid to be able to create for uh who's that Forky, ah, uh, who's that? <laughs> Am I right? Okay, the the spoon and fork. That's Forky. Okay, so resource provider. Another, mm. Sorry, Anne. What's your chosen role to possess and practice in the future? Mom. Yeah. <laughs> uh, among the eleven roles, what role do you like to practice? I think the. participant mom okay you are the participant okay yes mom mm -hmm. because as a future educator we need to belong of our students during the activity to feel to fill to fill the students that we are belong as a as a educator someday that's why para ma feel nila mom na na kahit teacher ka kasama ka pa rin pala dun sa activity na pinapagawa mo. Correct, correct. I like that. Uh, that that reminded me of the opportunity that I allowed my students to do. I'm not certain if I asked it to do that as well. If we had demo teaching, 
right? when I conducted demo teaching with English majors like two years ago, I think they were a third year college, and I asked them to include me and not to see me as an observer or a teacher in the classroom, but because they will take over or they took over the role of being a teacher in the class. So I asked them, okay, you may include me. You may assume that I am, I mean, it's their call, if they, the, their discretion, if, if they would like me to, to be their student instead of an observer there. So, and they were so happy. They called me, okay, early, join the motivation. They just called me early. I told them to just call me early, just like their student. And they really enjoy cheering for me during activities or motivation. So that's part. Yeah, so you really need to be the participant in the teaching learning process, even if you're the teacher. Correct. Uh, sorry, Anne. Thank you. Okay, so you also watch this video, right, of Simon Sinek. This is the video of Simon Sinek titled, This is Why You Don't Succeed. I hope you... This really, you know, cr created a big impact in your life the way it it did to me. Okay, it's a message for the millennial generation, right? He gave, you know, factors there about yeah, about you know, the relationships that are happening in the world and I'm not certain I think I've told you about this that he's the reason or this talk, this interview was one of the mere reasons I deactivated my Facebook for two years. So I just uh, returned to Facebook because of, you know, the demands, right? Yeah, Thea, thank you for remembering that. Would you like to share, Ma'am Thea, your output here? Your position paper, like, what's sure, your... Sure, Ma'am. Yeah, sure, thank you. Ma'am, babasahin po yung... Yeah, your position paper. Okay po. Mm -hmm. The millennial generation is well known in today's time because they take strong positions on their opinions and their decisions. They are the ones who's born in the year 1981 to 1996. In Simon Sinek's This Is Why You Don't Succeed video on YouTube, he talked very well about the millennial generation about why they are tough to manage. And with this, he breaks down four things about why millennials felt like something is missing in their lives. The four things are parenting, technology, impatience, and environment. Mm -hmm. In the first part where he said that the parents in this millennial generation failed to have parental strategies, with this I think that we can all agree that parents didn't let us experience what we should experience. Sometimes they are really treating us like young children and still don't allow us to explore even if we are in the right age to explore on our own. Mm -hmm. When those people experience the real world situation, like for example myself, I get depressed and I sometimes don't know what to do or what I really like. Mm -hmm. Like how we discussed it in his talk. Yes, he is correct that we grew up with the social media world, the Facebook, Instagram world. We have so many social media platforms that we can use and it makes us feel good whenever we post and someone likes it. Mm -hmm. The social media can be our way of coping with life. Mm -hmm. We show the good in social media when in reality we don't know what we should do to be okay mm -hmm. or how could we still keep up with life's mm -hmm. challenges. I would like to quote Simon Sinek saying, the people who spend more time on Facebook suffer high rates of de depression. The dopamine that Simon Sinek talked about is being released when we feel validation in social media. Mm -hmm. That is the same chemical being released in our brain whenever a person is smoking, gambling, and when we are drinking alcohol. And it can be addicting. When alcohol, cigarettes, and gambling have age restrictions, the social media platforms have no age limit restriction. Mm -hmm. You can easily create an account and some may lie when asked for a birthday. Young adults now struggle with forming and making deeper connections and forming a relationship with people. Mm -hmm. It's a big struggle for them. When significant stress comes into our lives, they do not find comfort in people anymore. Instead of people, they come to a device, a social media platform to rant or to cry their hearts out. The coping mechanism that they do in order to not feel stressed is through the use of technology. Mm -hmm. Social media and technology isn't that bad. Some may say it helps us in everyday lives. Yes, that's right. It's not bad, but the improper use and, Im and imbalance is what is. The addictive methods are what is harmful with it. More people look at social media as a way for them to be validated. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. The other one Simon points out is about impatience. The way this generation wants to get what they want in an instant. The way we want to be fast-paced because of what we experience in this modern time. Mm-hmm. We young adults are impulsive and sometimes a little aggressive in wanting things to go for us. We tend to cram and rush things that we need for our time more. We, ru- we rush for success and that's why we don't enjoy the process and hardship we had to work for. Mm-hmm. We want to just have the momentum and not experience the struggles of it. We young adults should experience the lows in order to get to the top. We should all know the process in between doing those things. We always feel in the moment of having a lot of time, but in the real world, we tend to just ignore it. Mm-hmm. And the fourth thing Simon Sinek pointed out, the environment, it takes place when we reach adulthood and when we realize what we truly want and what we can do and don't. Mm-hmm. A good leader has a corporate environment with the company we have. It helps us to be better, to improve in what we lack and what we can do when we encounter something that is off or something that can pull us down. The environment that we should be is where we feel safe and feel that our confidence is good. We as people need to trust our willpower and the process. Be strong to be out of temptations that can bring us down. Mm-hmm. It makes it easier with less phones or no phones at all. We just need to enjoy whether the world brings us. Let us let our minds wander and get ideas with it. We have a big responsibility to be better and make up for our shortcomings. Let's help this generation to build up confidence, to be patient to balance life and technology and let us reach out to our family, friends, and to people we trust. We have the responsibility to make our lives happy, our, ourselves happy with our real life and not just on showing it to social media platforms. Okay, wow. Okay, that's a well, comprehensive okay, uh, analysis for, or synthesis as well, right? Synthesis and analysis of Simon Sinek, right? So your stance, I, I can say that the, the pos- because it's position paper, right? Not simply reflection or analytic, analytical paper. I can say it's implied, by the way, that you agree, right? So your position yes, stance, yeah, you agree to everything that he said. And you can also relate, especially to, I think, on the first to the second part. I mean, second part. It's mostly on the second part where we're really you know, spend so much of our time or we can say waste so much of our time just, you know, asking for validation from people. And yeah, no one is excused from that. That's also the reason uh, maybe that, yeah, that hit me hard before when I deactivated my Facebook for two years because even, you know, the likes on or reaction when you change your profile pic, right? That's a big deal before but now as as you grow old and you realize that physical your physical relationships are more important than you know simply instant gratification on social media yeah i mean your last part your conclusion says a lot right about us taking care of our relationships i mean true relationships well they can be virtual but of course you you've met them right in person and even in the in the work world, right? You, you, you can remember, right? That when, when you you'll have a meeting, for example, instead of or even when you meet, right, as a class, and you have an agenda for a specific project, and you need to meet, right, with your group mates. Usually, what happens instead of talking, right, right away, instead of asking, you know, personal questions and getting to know more of what happened to a specific classmate. We, we go to our device, right? We, we go to our device and, you know, in, yeah, instead of asking, how, how are you doing? Or how's your weekend? Right? Instead, we, we what, scroll our Facebook feed. So, yeah, thank you. I hope, right, that we can, that we really learned a lot from this interview and that we'll be responsible and accountable, you know, uh, members of the millennial generation or even the Gen Z now, right? I mean, all the factors that he mentioned are applicable until today, right? And yeah, as as days pass, I mean, all are being so practical, right? In today's generation, even to young learners. Okay, so thank you. Okay, so another, there's one. 
Okay, we have seven here, right? So assessment method, you have to give the assessment method because you have their samples, right? Like online quizzes, open-ended, essay questions, drag and drop activities, online interviews as well, uh, dialogue simulations, online polls, game type or gamification, peer evaluation in a review, and forum posts can be used as assessment methods. And these are tools or software like Google Forms, Plickers, Poll Everywhere, Socrative.com, Nearpod, Classflow, what other formative, Classkick, Padlet that we already use. Okay, Seesaw, Recap, Kahoot for quizzes. There are so many, right? And you're asked to choose a certain method, tool, or software in a grade level and lesson or topic subject matter and device instructions or questions and answers so if you have available google drive link that i may access to see your what prepared or created assessment method let us look at your answer okay so we have here okay wow quizlet online quiz grade one Mga pangunahing anyong lupa sa bansa. Wow, cool. Okay. So, you use Quizlet app. The students must open their Quizlet app or website with the following link. So, you have link provided. Define the following landforms in the Philippines. You're writing the correct answer. The students have only five minutes to answer. The set of questions are changing in order of, to avoid cheating. Yeah, you can have it randomly. Even in Google form you can do that yeah, random or shuffle order of questions pagtatapat piliin sa hanay b ang kahulugang tinutukoy na anyong lupa makikita sa hanay a bulubundukin burol kapatagan oh this is great okay so okay and you also provided answers okay flash cards through quizlet test through quizlet wow okay great great correct correct okay how about the others? Who owns this? Is this for Mamshe? Sorry. Okay. Thank you for this. So I hope you, you did the same thing. Right? I mean, you followed the instructions well. Okay. Now, let's go to the role of IT in educational technology. As you notice, right, even the, the latter part of the previous lesson also oriented you because it's about inclinations right of the educational technology and education in this case we will dig deeper into what are the roles of it in the education so you will be introduced to the four philosophical frameworks right like namely meaning right meaningful learning discovery learning generative learning and constructivism so your objectives you will answer the questions regarding learning environments with the best of your knowledge you will design a similar model of a learning environment from the perspective of a learner because the ones discussed okay by the way we will do this as a group so i will divide you later all right in a while i will divide you into two into breakout rooms and you will discuss about it so you will design as a similar model you will describe the current learning environment where you are learning a course or program you will write a descriptive paragraph by deciding on the key components and their subcomponents and by making choices for each subcomponent. So these are the outputs. Okay, you will also create a semi-detailed LP using one type of learning among those three. Share the content you are passionate about by choosing your preferred blogging site. Then create an account and publish a content you'd like others to see, hear, or feel. This is maximizing, right? The you know the softwares, even blogging sites. For you to, to share what, you, what you'd like to share to people. I'm oh, sorry. Oops, oops. Okay. And you will also prepare an introductory video to show to your future students. And it is simply, you know, telling interesting facts about yourself. Just a quick video. And rate your performance through self-assessment activities. So mom that's a lot okay so that is why we give i give you like one week or more than a week right a present of preparation to comply the activities can you can you give me violent reaction regarding that or is it reasonable is the do that reasonable 
I mean, regardless, of course, you need to set aside the procrastination habit or attitude. But is it reasonable, the, the one-week asynchronous for all the activities? Anyone? I would like to hear your, your stance on this. Ma'am. Yes, Ma'am Bay. My only concern is the other activities are very confusing for us. Ah, okay. That's Just like the butterfly like mm, okay okay yeah at first we don't understand it but we just brainstormed <laughs> yeah, okay yeah that's great that's great okay so if there's if if okay that's your next resort and that's your that's brainstorming that's correct you ask and yeah you may you may ask me at the same time okay so i'm the last resort so second resort is your classmate right and then if no one can really understand it so that's the time I need to intervene. So thank you for that. So just mere clarification. Okay, let's try to analyze each. Uh, I think. How about in among the objectives now? Do you have any confusion? So we have your answering the question, designing a similar model. Later, I will show you a model, but you you have to create some like somewhat similar model to that, and it will be done by group. Don't worry. Describe the current learning environment. Okay, I think this is easy. Uh, descriptive paragraph is here. LP, you know, lesson planning. Uh, this one is a blog entry. So if you already have existing, then it's better. If you don't have, you have to create one. Repair an introductory video, right? I think you've, you've watched all these also on YouTube. There are so many introductory videos of teachers or even students. This one, you're going. This is self-assessment, so you're going to rate your performance about the introductory video. Is there any confusion about these objectives? Of course, we need to dig deeper, right? In about how are you going to achieve all these? Can I receive like or act if it's clear? Ha ha, react if it's not clear. <laughs> so, okay. So there's like. So next, okay. So it enters a new learning environment. Learning environment, okay, first to diverse physical physical locations, contexts, and cultures in which students learn. So, literally, your classroom. In our case, it may not be physical, but this is our learning environment. It's the virtual classroom, okay? Components of an effective learning environment, okay? The characteristics of the learners, yeah, that includes... An effective learning environment you need to identify the characteristics of your learners you may also use the multiple intelligence tests I uh, asked you to do before the goals for teaching and learning okay that refers to the objectives that's why it's a must it's a requirement now to present right it's a must to present your objectives before starting just like what I did the activities that will best support learning Okay, so all the activities, right, these are the ways that you can achieve those objectives. The assessment strategies that will best measure and drive learning. So it's the same with the learning experiences or activities in the lesson plan. And the culture that infuses the learning environment. So this will be affected by your preferences, by your background. Okay, yes, Sir Yan? Ma'am, yung naka-share po na window is yung kaninang activity pa po. Oh, really? Oh, wait. Let me, yes, ma let me check. Sorry. Thank you, ma'am. How about now? Okay na po, ma'am. Okay, the goals. Okay. So, next we have... Okay. Okay, next, this is the model, but this one is from a teacher's perspective. So as you can see, the figure shows one possible right, learning environment from the perspective of a teacher. This is the teacher at the center. Right? And teachers can have uh, you know, little to no influence about other components, such as learning patterns and tools, but may have complete control over certain components like content, learner characteristics, assessment, resources, learning, learner support, and skills and you'll notice that there are a set of sub components the little circles right sub components within each of the main components that will need to be considered you need to consider all those sub 
components or factors. In fact, it is in the subcomponents right, that actual decisions need to be made, like uh, learner's goals, conic goals, sources, structure. Okay, we have facilities, technology for resources, assessment like essays, tests, projects. Okay, for learner support, they need feedback, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Skills, right? Thinking. Yeah, thinking skills. Discussion. Skills goals. So, in all these, right, many considerations should have been addressed, of course, such as the creation of ethical conduct. Well, that's important also. Structural variables or professional accreditation, both of which may also have an effect on the academic atmosphere or learning environment in which the teacher or a professor or instructor will function, right? So when it comes to building a model of a learning environment in a perceptual tool from the teacher's perspective, of course, uh, it's important that we seek to offer a holistic view of the whole teaching. It's like your bird's eye view and you're looking at everything, all aspects that might be affected when you start learning, during learning, and when you finish it. Yet, the, the choice of components and their relative value would be guided by personal philosophies. Of course, you you as a teacher, you have your own educational philosophy. And even if you have these uh, surrounding factors, right, you will tend to be not really biased, but you, you tend to have your own right stance on different activities, for instance. So uh, also, right, this figure of the learning environment from a teacher's perspective has the primary responsibility to create a conducive learning environment, meaning it should be relevant, it should be effective. Okay, And yeah, so all these factors are important from a teacher's perspective. But how about, right, how about students' perspective? So let me add First, right, undoubtedly, adult learners can create their own personal autonomous learning environment where students can decide, all right, or make decisions on certain problems. So, for example, in our class, I always ask for, you know, the, the majority decision, right? If you notice, I, I always ask for the majority decision in terms of, for example, oh, what do you like to submit that? Or when do you like to, to present? Or, right, uh, you, you are always part of, the decision making process or how many meetings or video conferences do you like us to conduct instead of meeting every week and i mean given the you know the accessibility of what, of the resources okay so now we will have our breakout session so in this case right you will now design a similar model of a learning environment from the perspective of a learner, from your perspective as a learner. So right now, right, you're not a teacher, but you're the learner, then you will des design a similar model. I will divide you into two groups and you will discuss there. And you have your link of your own Google drawing file. That's blank because you're the one, you're the ones who will input drawings and words or even like a bubble, uh, a mind map there. Okay, can, can you access now? You can also access it through the QR code. So I will now divide you into two. Uh, how many minutes possible? Like 30? 25? Anyone? Can you type in the chat? Or can you unmute? Okay, 30? You like that? 30 minutes? I will give you 30 minutes. Yes, ma'am. Okay, that includes your decision of asking someone who will present it and explain the model, okay? So, I will group you now. Not, yung dalawa po ba na link po, ma'am? Bubuksan or no, no. mamaya po po? No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, you may just have a screenshot of this. You, you may save this because when I group you into the breakout session or breakout rooms, right, I, I will not be able... I can join, right? But, yeah, make sure you will be the, uh, assigned to group one and group two. Okay, don't worry. I can give broadcast and messages. So, I'll do it now. Ma'am, pwede pong pasan yung link sa chat box. Kasi po. Sure, sure, sure. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, so group one would be... Oh, let me announce first. So group. Okay, so for group one, we have... Anne Claire, Thea, Ashe, Jasmine, Yanyan. For group two, we have... 
Wait, two, four, two, four. Yeah. One will have five, one will have four. So group two, uh, Mam J Ann, Jaira, Micah, and Bea. Okay, so I'll open all rooms now. So group one, group two. I hope you get your link. I, I will also send the link to... Uh, let me do it first. Oh yeah, you will design... Remember the model earlier? You will design a similar model like that. But this time, from your perspective, from student's perspective, not teacher's perspective. Okay? So perspective of the learning. Right? What is your... Yeah, what are the components of a learning environment? This of learning environment from your perspective. Not... From Ma'am, nawala po ako dun sa grupo ko, ma'am. Okay, I, I, will, I will give you. Let me send first the link so for those who need to type it. If you have a different device, they may easily access the QR code. Are you able to get it? The first link is for group 1, second link is for group 2. Start saving that because I will divide you now. So again, 30 minutes, 30 seconds countdown before you return. Okay, I think you're ready. I can see your almost done so let's start for, with group one who's your representative tinakasan po kami ni kuya jo <laughs> okay uh, and volunteer i will just be the one to share okay do you like that okay jasmine will do it okay that's better i'm <laughs> sorry po you will also share. Kami po ba? Kami po ba magshare ng screen mo? No, it's up to you. You like to, or I'll do it for you. Kaya na lang po. Thank okay. you po. Group one, right? Okay. Tayo yung kato mo. What? Na share na. Okay, Sir John is here now. Jasmine. Kasi kuya John na lang po ma. Okay, I'll call him. Go John at ang. John. Go kuya John. Can you see the screen now? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, our mind mapping is all about the student center where you can see, ma'am, the content, the learning characteristic assessment resources, and learning support, ma'am. Mm -hmm. In learning characteristics, we we talk about, uh, we decided to put uh, goal-oriented, which is we need to... Uh, kailangan natin magkaroon ng ano ma'am ng goal sa mga natin uh, students natin again again uh, sorry excuse me to interrupt this is your perspective as a student not yes ma'am so yes ma'am yeah I would like you to to explain it as if you are the student and how do you see the learner characteristics because you, you said that we need to see these right to our, in our students but it needs to be from your perspective as a student yes we need to be goal oriented, ma'am, to achieve one one thing in in particular in particular in particular subjects, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Then the purpose. Then and also, ma'am, kailangan natin bigyan to ng purpose. Kung bakit ba bakit ba natin ginagawa yung isang bagay na yun, ma'am? Mm -hmm. The learning by experience, we learn from our experience and also we learn from other experience as well. Mm -hmm. magandang, magandang opportunity yun, ma'am, para mas lalo pang may insas yung ability mo as a, as a human being. At the same time, uh, malalaman mo kung paano ka nagkamali at kung paano ka natuto, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Then, the second one is assessment, ma'am. The summative, the projects, and diagnostic and essay. Uh, may mga estudyante na magaling sa vocal pero mahina sa essay, ma'am. May mga, may mga students naman na magaling sa essay kaso mahina sa vocal. In this, in this area, in this, in this assessment, kailangan natin ma-identify, ma'am, kung, kung talagang yung, yung student natin is is magaling sa isang bagay. Again, you are going to perspective. Please focus on student's perspective. Thank you. Help muna. Okay. From a ma'am. Mama ka na lang po. Okay. Thank you, Sir John. Ma'am Jazz. Ma'am, sa assessment po, ma'am, 
Um, we include summative test, project, diagnostic, and essay. Kasi po, um, yung diagnostic ma'am, para ma-prepare po kami na ma- ni- kung ano po yung magiging um, in-expect po namin na malalaman po namin through dun sa subject. The summative test po, para naman po uh, malaman naman po namin kung ano po yung mga natutunan namin. Kasi po, pag nag- may, meron na po kaming result sa mga assessment na po yan, ma'am, dun po namin malalaman or ma-assess yung sarili namin kung saan po kami nagkulang or saan po kami um, magaling. Kaya po, yun po yung mga nilagay na. That's right. Okay. Tapos sa uh, resources naman po, um, uh, yun nga po yung technology kung saan, uh, eto na po yung pinaka-base natin ngayon. Tapos yung books po na um, marami rin po tayong natututunan kasi sy- 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 syempre po pag nagbabasa, mas, um, mas nag-upgrade po yung mga knowledge natin and ideas po para sa mga gagawin po natin, gagawin po namin. Tapos um, reading materials, ayan po, minsan po, um, Uh, yung mga prof na po yung nagbibigay niyan para po meron na po kaming magamit for um, learnings po. Tapos, videos and recording. Ayan po, yung mga sample nyo po ma'am is um, yung mga resources po na binibigay nyo rin sa amin is yun din po yung nakatulong sa amin as a student kasi po na-inspire po kami or na-appreciate po namin yung mga bagay-bagay. Mm-hmm. Tapos po, learner support. Ayan po kasama po yung peers, teacher, parents, caregiver na kung saan sila po yung um, tumutulong sa amin na uh, sa mga, hindi man po dun sa pinaka um, activity sa school, pero na, sila rin po yung nag encourage at uh, um, gumagawa rin po na part para um, mas magkaroon po kami ng Val, mas magkaroon po ng value education para sa amin. Kunyari po yung mga parents, uh, sila po yung nag-guide sa amin kung paano po, uh, kung bakit po kailangan po namin mag-aral mabuti, ganun po. Same po sa mga teachers, kayo, kayo po ma'am na nag inspire din po sa amin, nagbibigay po kayo ng mga quotes or mga um, videos na makakatulong po sa amin. Tapos skills naman po ma'am, um, physical activities, speaking, arts and crafts, music. Lahat po yan is part po ng mga students. Kailangan po gawin yan ng lahat ng student. So, uh, malalaman po namin lahat ng uh, kung saan po kaming magaling, kung saan po kami mag uh, mag mag tag po dito. Exactly. Yung mag uh, po yun ma'am. Tapos po okay na po na discuss po at an equation. Content. A content po. Mm-hmm. Ang hindi po umay. Ayan. Encourage self-testing. Ayan, ma'am, kaya po sinama namin yung encourage self-testing kasi, ma'am, um, kailangan po namin to para uh, makita po namin kung, kung, gaano, kung gaano po namin pinapahalagahan yung pag-aaral or yung education po para sa amin. Let's figure out or analyze the problem kasi po may mga activities po katulad po nung um, naging problem po namin na hindi po namin agad na intindihan yung mga activities pero um, tinulungan nagtulong-tulong po kami na mas ma, kunyari po si Maika po tsaka ako nag-explain po kami sa bawat isa na mm-hmm. kung ano po yung naintindihan namin so ma- ma-figure out po namin at ma-analyze namin kung ano po yung pinaka um, binibigay na instruction or problem po na ano na kailangan po namin i-gawin ma'am. tapos discourage road memorization ma'am kasi Um, hindi po lahat ng nami-memorize is nag stay po sa um, knowledge po namin. So, kailangan po kailangan po namin intindihin, basahin, mabuti para po maiwasan po namin na makalimutan din po yun abang tumatagal yung panahon mo. Yeah, that's great. Correct, correct. Is that all? Yes po, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. I, I like how practical... Right, how obvious as well, how obvious that those subcomponents are under the student's perspective. So congratulations, group one. Can you give them a uh, you know clapping reaction? Okay, wow, well, that's okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you for for the clap. So next we have group two. Okay, who's your representative? Me, ma'am. Okay. Good afternoon po. Wait lang po, ma'am. Is that Mambea? 
Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, ma'am, I'm back. I'm sorry. Okay. <coughs> so, first po yung... Wait, ma'am. First is the content. Um, ma'am, we focused on the student's perspective and we highlighted the new normal setting for our learning environment. Wait, student is a barrier. So, can you hear me? Po? I, can hear, I can also hear your son. I <laughs> yeah, ma'am. He's so talkative. I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> for, the, for the content. Okay. <laughs> For the content, ma'am, we included um, internet because um, this time in the new normal setting, we we mostly depend on what we can research on the internet. And then also books because um, what we have, uh, what books we have uh, today or uh, the books that we, that we, um, we took uh, on the previous previous uh, levels. Yun po yung mga kinukuha na namin ng information for now. And then, next po is for the skills. We included digital skills because uh, it is the mostly used uh, skills now, especially in the distance learning that we use different platforms po to, um, to provide our uh, to, for the teachers to provide the activities and then as ano po uh, and how we can pass our requirements in different courses po. The next is resourceful because um, during this time uh, may challenge po kami, may challenge po lahat ng students na I mean, uh, gamitin lahat kung ano lang po yung available available na na resources na meron ngayon since may iba po nasa provinces and then magkakahiwalay po lahat. Then next is the resources. Ayun po as I mentioned earlier the technology. Then next is professionals pro professionals as such as our teachers, our professors that guides us and provides us the learning and knowledge uh, during this time of pandemic. Mm -hmm. The next is for assessment. Um, we, we chose po online assessment because uh, yun lang naman po talaga yung available for now. And then the e-portfolio for those activities that should be passed for the whole, for the whole semester. Mm -hmm. Then next is the learner's characteristics. We uh, we included diverse because ayun po ano uh, we are different from one another po kasi and then we are goal oriented na nakafocus po kami sa kung ano goal na minimit po namin. Okay. Wow. And then is the last the learner? no ay last po yung learner support. Um, first po family because sila po yung uh, kasama natin ngayon na we cannot go to our schools to um, seek help from our teachers personally and their classmates and next is tutor um, uh, ito po yung, yung literal po na tutor na kung sino po yung kayang tumulong sa atin na pwede po tayong mag reach out ng help okay. wow, that's good. all po again group that uh, I like how distinct, right, your model from each other because in your case, group two, you focus on yourselves as the, as the learners. Well, for group one, they focus on the learners as the young learners, like the, uh, what do you call this? Your future students, right? Your pupils, like the, the early childhood kids. So it's nice, right? Practical, realistic, timely also for group two, right? Because you consider the... The pandemic right and available assessment strategies that we can use and at some point we can say they're they're limited f physically right but virtually they're not limited so it takes effort and congratulations to both groups can you give clap reaction as well well thank you Micah. <laughs> okay to group two as well i like how well organized and clear your 
okay your both models are but let me may i ask a different representative from each group to different shape right going back to the model earlier from a teacher's perspective how how are you going to differentiate your model the one you created from the teacher's perspective model of learning environment any volunteer from group one okay so how are you i mean given the major components here of course same like resources technology you have the same facilities well you, you can't really have this like the physical facilities because we are in virtual environment like is there a big gap i mean just from birds ivy is there a big gap from the teacher's perspective or are they meeting yes ma'am there's a big gap who is that ma'am ako po <laughs> si jaira po ma'am jai can you tell us ma'am kasi po syempre ngayon parang more on self-learning na talaga kami so nakadepende na po kami sa sarili namin ngayon unlike before mm -hmm. kapag Kapag may tanong po kami, pwede agad masagot or kapag may concern kami about dun sa projects and mga activities, madali po namin kayong i-reach out. Eh ngayon po, kapag galbawa, hindi po kayo online or wala po kaming internet, so kami lang po yung sasagot dun sa mga tanong namin. And uh, kung limited man po yung resources namin, katulad ng iba, di ba, na ano talaga, is mahihirapan po talaga. So may malaki po talaga yung gap dun sa students and sa teachers ano po learning okay. so that is for the time right the, i mean the timely issue right now the timely context that we are in now and yeah you, you mentioned about self-directed learning that is what we call utagogy so aside from pedagogy and dragogy and now we have self-directed learning so in in that case i mean this one this this model actually applies to you know still i mean this the, the components are present even before the pandemic but yeah looking at the real scenario if we're going to recreate another model still yeah there's a gap right in some of the major components but yeah i, I can see that in your models especially in the skills right for instance skills before just simply communication skills but your main focus now is digital skill yeah and, and that's a great observation Right. Another is yeah, your your content, right? Sources still, right? We have books and internet for okay, content of the teacher activities. Yeah, you still have that, right? Assessment activities online. However, yeah, I I, I hear you on that part that when it comes to immediate, you know, feedback, even though we have feedback here, right? Learner support, it's not that immediate, right? We can say that it's not that immediate if that is not done in synchronous manner. Okay, mm. yes, scaffolding as well, right? I mean, we can do scaffolding during synchronous, but yeah, I I agree on what you said about self-directed learning. We still have the similarity here on assessment. We have essays, right? Test, e-portfolio. We also have e-portfolio here on teacher's perspective, and we have projects. So they're still present, uh, right? In your perspective, I can say discussion. For the skills, yeah, it's a different manner now because, again, it is not, this is simply highly encouraged, not anymore required. And like before, right, during discussion, your perspective is, I need to be present. I need to really, you know, participate. But in, you know, in the virtual world now, in the virtual classroom, um, you're just highly encouraged to, you know, to contribute ideas in the discussion. Okay. So, what else? Like content, sources, structure. Uh, it's just more of, you know, as, as you can see in the subcomponents, they are more a wide, right? They, they, they cover wide aspects, right? Uh, here, we also have diversity. That's the same still in your case. Learner, learner's goal, you still have goal-oriented. It's still the same. Okay, digital natives and uh, the same with digital skills so yeah we can we can still say that they, they are meeting halfway right but yeah considering some other factors learning environment has somehow a big gap in terms of what access we can say access accessibility right and availability of both parties so thank you okay since it's already 1 30 uh, just wait for, I think it's already up there. It's already posted there in the Google Classroom. So now may I ask 
everyone again congratulations well done here very organized the visuals are great okay and content is relevant and timely so can you please turn on your videos let's take our class picture congratulations you did it for how many 50 40 minutes 50 minutes okay one two three oh we, we lost our richard again i think he, he was he's just connecting and then we lost him again so one two three smile okay so you may also do the same thing right to your future learners if they want to collaborate but i think they need more assistance if they will become if they are young learners right so god bless you all see you and yeah you have a thank week you, mom. So, thank you mom thank you mom thank you lunch thank you mom bye bye son i think that's bye bye bye